This is the true story of a man named Paul and a ship. Paul was leaving to face trial in Rome before Caesar. He said farewell to his friends. <laughs> Paul had been arrested by the Romans and charged with causing trouble because he was a Christian. He had appealed for his case to be heard in Rome, so he was being escorted there, guarded by Roman soldiers. Once the ship set sail, the wind began to blow strongly, forcing the captain to change course. At the port of Mira, they boarded an Egyptian ship bounded for Italy. After several days of rough sailing, at last the port of Fair Havens in Crete came into sight. They sailed to the shelter of Fair Havens port and docked, where they rested for several days. As Fair Havens was exposed harbor, a poor place to spend the winter, most of the crew advised trying to go further round the coast to Phoenix to winter there. Paul said, I believe there is trouble ahead if we go on. Perhaps shipwreck, loss of cargo, injuries, and death. But they did not listen to him. Just then, a light wind began blowing from the south, so they pulled up anchor and sailed along close to the shore. But then, a heavy wind, a typhoon strength known as Northeaster, blew the ship out to sea. They tried to turn back to shore but couldn't, so they gave up and let the ship run before the gale. They sailed behind a small island called Cloda, where they hoisted aboard the lifeboat that was being towed behind them. They banked the ship with ropes to strengthen the hull. Afraid of being driven across to the quicksands of the African coast, they lowered the top sails and were driven along by the wind. The next day, as the seas grew higher, the crew began throwing the cargo overboard. The following day, they threw out the tackle and everything else they could lay their hands on. The terrible storm raged unabated for many days until at last all hope was gone. Paul called the crew together and said, Men, you should have listened to me and you would have avoided all this injury and loss. But cheer up, an angel visited me last night and said that none of us will lose our lives even though the ship will go down. God told me, don't be afraid, Paul for you will stand trial before Caesar. Once more, God has answered my prayers and will save the lives of all those sailing with you. So take courage, for I believe God. We will be shipwrecked on an island. The storm blew until the ship was close to land. The crew took surroundings and the water was getting shallower. Some of the sailors planned to abandon the ship and lowered the lifeboats. But Paul said to the soldiers and commanding officer, you will all die unless everyone stays aboard. So the soldiers cut the ropes and let the lifeboats drift away. As the darkness gave away to the early morning light, Paul begged everyone to eat. You haven't taken food for two weeks, he said. He gave thanks to God and they ate. He reassured them, not a hair of your heads shall perish. The ship then hit a sandbar and ran aground. The bow of the ship struck fast and the waves began to break it apart. But Julius, who wanted to spare Paul, ordered all who could swim to jump overboard and make for land, and the rest to hold on to planks and debris from the broken ship. All 276 on board made it safely ashore, just as God promised. You can read the original story in your Bible in the book of Acts. Bye-bye.